I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call the Cliff Rock Fountain. Now, this is a really wide boulder. It's, it's taking up most of that 4x4 base, and there is a couple of inches on each side. But we are taking up most of the space, so it gives you an idea of scale of it. Now, the water comes up here and kind of flows over right through there. Now, we've got it tilted slightly forward, and that's something you can do on your end to kind of tilt this rock and get the water to flow where you want it to. We have it flowing kind of down through here. The majority of water is coming down through here. Some is going over there on that side, and then some is coming off the back side. So I would say this rock's about probably 60-70% coverage of water flowing over. So that is things you can do on your end, tilting it, shimming it, to get the tilt the way you, the way you want it to. This is a beautiful rock. It's got a lot of detail on it, and I'll get up close to the camera here for the end. Another thing, too, we've got like a rock right here, and it kind of diverts that flow of water kind of right in there where we want it. Those are things that you can play with on your end. This is another one of those boulders that really benefits from having the disc light in it. We can put that in there and then the light shines up through the disc and it illuminates that plume of water. Uplighting is a must on virtually all fountains. It just really creates a nice soft uh, light and kind of illuminates the area. If it's near a sitting area, that's a big plus. Uh, it also has um, uh, an area there to the, to the side there to where it kind of drops off that little cliff uh, right there, you can, I think you can see it there, it kind of drops away. Uh, got a nice sound to it. I can distinctly hear three different sounds going on there. You got your bubbling right there, your bubbling effect, and then the water falling over here. It's kind of a rushing water sound. And then on that end down there, I can hear it too. And I'll get up close to the camera, and hopefully you'll be able to hear that. I apologize for the road noise. We are on a major busy highway here, so. Uh, we do pick up a lot of road noise, but it has a really neat sound to it. Now keep in mind this is a GFRC boulder, stands for Glass Fiber Reinforced Concrete. It's the same material used in zoo exhibits and animal habitats. It has the look, the feel, and the texture of real rock at about one-fifth the weight. It's a mold of a real rock, and it, the detail on it is amazing. I'll get up here close and take a look. I think you can kind of see some of that detail going on there. It just has a rough feel to it, just like a real rock. If you come out here on a cold day and touch it, it feels dense just like a real rock. So you really can't tell that it's not a real rock. And we have to convince people that all the time. Um, I'll point out right here too, see that rock right there? You can see the water's kind of splashing over on that rock. We have that rock tilted and we have it over the basin. So any water hitting on top of that rock is going to flow back into the basin. And you can do things like that to uh, adjust your flow so you can uh, minimize your splash and water loss. You also have an adjustment on your pump. You can turn it down if you if you want to as well. So those are adjustments you do on your end to make sure you're not losing too much water. I hope you can pick up that sound. I can. I think you can. I know I can hear that right there. I can hear three different distinct sounds of the water right there. We'll go all the way around the boulder. It is attractive all the way around, although we only have just a little bit of water coming over that backside. You can see the details, a lot of unique features on this particular boulder. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny, at southerngraceva.com.